Imagine a helicopter that can complete more than 1,200 flight hours in training in challenging terrain without failure. This is the pure power over the Atlantic, CH-53K King Stallion. For over five decades, Sikorsky's CH-53 series has reigned as the go-to heavy lift helicopter for the U.S. military. But as technology and battlefield demands evolve, so too must the machines that support them. Enter the CH-53K, the latest iteration of Sikorsky's iconic helicopter series. How does it stack up against its predecessor, the CH-53E? With promises of greater payload capacity, advanced avionics, and reduced maintenance needs, the CH-53K is more than just an upgrade. It's a game changer. But what truly sets it apart, and is it worth the investment over the battle-tested CH-53E? The CH-53E Super Stallion made its debut in the early 1980s and quickly became the U.S. Marine Corps' heavy lift workhorse. With its powerful three-engine design, the CH-53E was capable of lifting 27,000 pounds externally, and it played a crucial role in moving troops, vehicles, and supplies during key military operations. The Super Stallion has been deployed in significant missions, such as Operation Desert Storm in the 1990s, the Iraq War, and the war in Afghanistan, providing vital support in logistics and troop mobility. Despite its impressive service record, time has taken its toll on the CH-53E fleet. The aging airframes have become increasingly costly to maintain and repair, prompting the U.S. Marine Corps to search for a replacement that could meet modern battlefield demands. Hence, U.S. Marine Corps signed an $18.8 billion to build CH-53K King Stallion, not just to continue the legacy, but to surpass it. The CH-53K helicopter is designed to be intelligent, reliable, low maintenance, and survivable in the most austere and remote forward operating bases. King Stallion has been designed and built to the exacting standards of the U.S. Marine Corps and will serve as its critical land and sea-based logistics connector. What makes the CH-53K different from its predecessor, the CH-53E Super Stallion? The CH-53K King Stallion represents a massive leap forward in technology and capability. While the Super Stallion already demonstrated incredible heavy lift power, the King Stallion takes it to a whole new level. One of the most noticeable upgrades is the engine. The CH-53K is powered by three General Electric T-408 engines, each producing 7,500 shaft horsepower, a significant improvement over the CH-53E's 4,380 shaft horsepower engines. This 57% increase in horsepower allows the CH-53K to lift up to 36,000 pounds externally, a nearly 30% improvement over its predecessor. Although this engine increases the power, its fuel consumption is reduced by 18% compared to the fuel usage of the General Electric T-64 engine used by the CH-53E. In terms of range and efficiency, the King Stallion boasts an operational range of around 110 nautical miles while carrying its maximum load, a critical upgrade from the Super Stallion. This allows for longer missions without refueling, crucial in today's fast-moving combat environments. What does this mean on the battlefield? In simple terms, the King Stallion can carry heavier equipment in fewer trips, improving operational efficiency. The CH-53K offers commanders greater flexibility and speed in logistics and mobility. Beyond its lifting power, the CH-53K brings advanced avionics to the cockpit. The King Stallion is equipped with a fly-by-wire control system, which makes it easier to fly and lessens the workload for the pilot. This system enhances stability during difficult maneuvers and makes landing, especially in rough conditions, far safer. 
Even more, the cockpit provides real-time power available information, allowing pilots to make quicker and more informed decisions during operations, an essential feature in high-stress combat scenarios. The CH-53E, by contrast, uses older analog systems that, while reliable, do not offer the same level of precision or pilot assistance. In night operations, the CH-53K's fully automated landing system makes it particularly effective. In comparison, the CH-53E's manual controls place a heavier burden on pilots, especially during nighttime missions. The maintenance of the CH-53K is also more streamlined. Designed with easier access to internal systems, the King Stallion reduces maintenance hours, keeping helicopters in the air longer and at a lower cost compared to the aging Super Stallion. Lastly, the CH-53K is designed to thrive in marinized environments, enhancing its performance in corrosive conditions like saltwater exposure. The CH-53E Super Stallion costs approximately $27 million per unit, though maintenance and operational costs have increased due to its aging fleet. On the other hand, the CH-53K King Stallion is significantly more expensive, with a unit cost of around $87 to $100 million. The higher cost of the CH-53K reflects its advanced technology, greater lifting capacity, and reduced maintenance needs, which aim to offer long-term savings despite its higher initial price. Both the CH-53E and CH-53K are primarily operated by the United States Marine Corps, with the CH-53E also serving the U.S. Navy in heavy lift roles. The Israel Defense Forces and Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force also utilize the CH-53E for various military operations, relying on its heavy lift capabilities for transportation and support missions. As for the CH-53K, it is currently exclusive to the U.S. military, but given its cutting-edge technology and expanded capabilities, it's likely that other countries will express interest in acquiring it in the future. In every respect, CH-53K is an evolution of the CH-53E, designed to meet the demands of modern warfare. From its powerful engines and increased payload capacity to its sophisticated avionics and reduced maintenance needs, the King Stallion is not just an upgrade, it's a revolution in heavy lift aviation. As the U.S. military continues to modernize, the CH-53K will play a critical role in ensuring that troops, equipment, and supplies can be moved efficiently and safely across challenging environments. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.